Good morning, Empire Oaks students. This is Mrs. Perenson and your third grade class reps with your Monday morning message. Hi, I'm Jackson Ellis here with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Bye. This week's Sunday story is called, I Wish You More. And this one is dedicated to our fifth graders who are graduating this week and moving on to middle school. I want you all to watch it when you have time this week. Okay, Acorns, we have a lot of fun things going on this week. So first of all, we have a play day on Tuesday. We also have spirit days. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So the three spirit days this week, Monday is silly day, that's today. Tomorrow, Tuesday is your favorite outfit day. And then Wednesday is Hawaiian day. Okay, those are the spirit days happening this week. We also have minimum days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you'll get out at 1.31 on those three days. We have a fifth grade promotion celebration happening on Thursday morning, and the fifth graders will get to do a grad walk similar to what the Vista Del Lago seniors did last week. Our fifth graders will walk down that pathway and get to see their kinder, first, second, third, and fourth grade teachers and students. You all get to cheer them on and hold up signs and, and wave at them and give them high fives and just congratulate them as they finish their last day of school here and move on to middle school. Okay, and students, the last day of school is Thursday, not Friday, it's Thursday. And so this week, uh, remember to stay on task, accountable, kind, and safe, and just make it a great week. Here is our second step message for the week. This week, we're going to turn our focus to your ability to take control of and manage something called anxiety. Try this quick activity with me. I want you to flex your arms and show off your muscles. Now squeeze and tighten your stomach muscles. Now squeeze your fingers into a fist. That tension that you're creating in your muscles is similar to a type of tension that we can feel in our brain called anxiety. Anxiety is that uncomfortable feeling that you get when you're worried about something that might or may not even happen. Anxiety can exist in the classroom, on the playground, and even at home. Most often, many of you feel anxiety during a stressful situation, like maybe a difficult test, People experience anxiety in different ways. Some people experience discomfort in their stomach. Some of you may have trouble paying attention or even find it difficult to sit still. Sometimes it can be hard to understand and realize when you're feeling anxiety, but when you do, you have hidden superpowers to help ease that anxiety and hopefully make it go away. First, we've learned deep breathing techniques through in through your nose and out through your mouth in order to get oxygen to your brain and body, which helps your brain think clearer. Next, we've learned how to name our feelings and talk to a trusted adult about those feelings that also helps ease anxiety. We've also learned the importance of giving ourselves positive self-talk in a stressful situation. Remember, I can, I will succeed, and I've got this. Remember those? So you can tell yourself those things, and those help relieve anxiety. Finally, we've all learned how to recognize and read facial expressions and body language of our classmates so that we can offer a little empathy to friends and classmates who might be needing some help uh, relieving their anxiety. Managing anxiety is not an easy thing to do, but with a little practice and help from our friends, 
classmates and trusted adults, it's a superpower that you can develop over time to help make you a better student and citizen. This week's challenge is for teachers and adults. I want you to try to recognize when you're in a stressful situation or a time when you might be feeling anxiety and put your superpowers of deep breathing and positive self-talk to work. If you're still feeling anxious, find a trusted adult and tell them how you're feeling so that they can help you ease your anxiety. What makes music in your head? A headband. You're Sarge at Arms, here with the quote of the week. Don't count the days, make the days count. Have a fun last week, Acorns. Bye! Hey Acorns, this is your fun fact for the week. Did you know that turtles have been around longer than any other reptile, including snakes, alligators, and crocodiles? And this is my pet turtle, Olive. He's a red-eared slider, but he's not native to this area. Smile for the camera. That's it for this week's announcements. Students, stay positive, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful week.